hello hello welcome or welcome back to my channel i'm ariana if you're new here on this channel we level up your eyeshadow game in today's video we're getting into a really pretty dramatic shimmery valentine's day look so i'm using the wander beauty sweet escape palette this palette is beautiful i did use a significant amount of shades in this palette but i promise you this is very easy to do so the first thing that i did was i took a kind of like dark burgundy brown shade and i'm just placing that in my crease i'm making sure that the darkest and most pigmented part of the crease is toward the outer corner because i am kind of going for an uplifted eyeshadow look with this so i'm just kind of blending that into the crease and outlining the crease with the eyeshadow so i'm taking it all the way toward the inner corner and flaring it out toward the outer corner then i just buffed out the edge and now i'm adding a transition shade so the shade is kind of like a lighter version of that dark burgundy brown shade and i'm just blending the two together going back and forth and just buffing out the edges this is going to create a beautiful gradient going from dark to light from the crease to the brow bone now this part is optional, I just kind of wanted to clean up and like define my eyelid area just to make it easier for me to map out the eyeshadow that I'm going to lay on next. You don't have to do this if you do kind of want like a blended, seamless look, but I kind of wanted to differentiate my lid from the crease, so that is why I did that. And I also didn't use like a really, really light concealer to do this either because I just wanted to separate the crease from the lid but you'll see what it looks like and where I'm going with this so moving on to my crease I added a really dark I think this is a shimmer shade actually this is like the darkest purple shimmer shade in the palette I might be wrong but it looks like sometimes it looks shimmery and sometimes it looks matte I'm pretty sure it's a shimmer shade though, but I just packed it onto the outer corner and I'm trying to stay toward the outer quarter, the outer quarter of my eyelid um, because I am going in with four different shades on the lid. So I then kind of blended in a lighter purple shade next to the dark purple shade and I'm just kind of like patting it to blend in the shimmer shades. Shimmer shades are super easy to blend together because it's just a bunch of sparkles and it's just really easy to create a gradient. So after I did the lighter purple shade, I added a soft pink shade. You can't really tell the difference, but it's there if you look at the eye on the right. Um, that's the pink shade and then I went in with a gold shade toward the inner corner So basically, I'm just trying to create a beautiful gradient going from light to dark from the inner corner to the outer corner And this is just going to really create that effect that my eye is just like swooping up and it's like snatched and just cat eye looking and that is kind of what I was going for. So you can definitely stop here I also added a little baby wing with um, some liquid liner but you don't have to do the eyeliner if you don't want to i just kind of wanted to add like the most dramatic effect to this look by kind of defining my lash line as well so this is, liner is super thin it's a really really small cat eye and i was also kind of having trouble getting it to be even but i'm gonna give you a little hack on how to make sure that your eyeliner is even even if it it's not going well and that hack is to basically just clean up the outer edges of your eyeshadow so this is like just going to clean up that that excess that's kind of dipping down towards your lower lash line and this is really going to just uplift your eyes and just make everything look symmetrical so you can as long as you kind of use that technique to make your wings look symmetrical the liner like on your actual eyelid won't really appear different so unless you're a perfectionist and you just want to start over but that has worked for me so this part is also optional i went in with some black liner on my lower waterline my lower waterline i went in with some black liner on my waterline and i'm also adding the shimmer shades to the lower lash line as well you definitely don't have to do this but i thought it looked so pretty and i also like i said wanted to be very dramatic with this look so i think it just really adds a beautiful pop and just brings out my eyes and i i love like a nice shimmer on the lower lash line so if you haven't tried that before i definitely suggest doing that then i popped on some mascara i used the maybelline sky high mascara and this is what the look looks like without falsies 
and I'm also going to add some on just to show you guys what it looks like. So this is the maximum capacity of drama with this eyeshadow look. I think it came out really, really pretty. So I definitely suggest trying this out for Valentine's Day if it goes with what you're wearing. But let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to leave a like down below. It really helps me out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!